Welcome to Protecting Children Against Influenza, an educational program created to help you protect your children against the influenza virus. Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is a contagious respiratory illness. The two main types of influenza viruses that infect humans are the influenza A and influenza B viruses. Influenza A and B viruses mainly circulate during the fall and winter in Canada, which is why we say influenza is seasonal. Influenza symptoms can range from mild to severe. Symptoms usually include the sudden onset of fever, cough, and muscle aches and pains. Other common symptoms may include headache, chills, loss of appetite, fatigue, sore throat, runny nose, and nasal congestion. Some individuals, especially children, may experience diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Additional symptoms in children can include changes to eating or drinking, difficulty waking up, decreased interaction with others, and irritability. Most people who become infected with influenza recover and have no symptoms after 7 to 10 days. However, the cough and fatigue from an influenza infection can persist for weeks. Some individuals may also experience severe complications. Children less than 24 months of age or children of any age with chronic medical conditions such as asthma, heart problems, or cystic fibrosis are at greater risk for catching other serious infections if they contract influenza. One such example is pneumonia, which can lead to hospitalization and death. This is because the influenza virus weakens the body's immune or defense system and makes it easier for other infections to occur. This is a very serious threat to children, especially those younger than 24 months of age. The influenza virus is spread from one person to another by airborne droplets in a cough or a sneeze. It is important to realize that the influenza virus can also be spread indirectly. Because it can live for up to 48 hours outside of the body, this virus can be contracted from surfaces such as telephones, computer keyboards, doorknobs, and toys. Don't forget that unwashed hands and kitchen utensils can also transmit the virus. Once you have become infected with influenza, you are contagious starting from the first day before you experience symptoms and remain contagious for approximately five days after your first day of symptoms. Influenza is a serious cause of illness in children. Children five years of age and younger are at higher risk for serious influenza infection and hospitalization. As well, influenza is more severe in children under two years of age and in children with chronic health conditions, such as heart, lung, or neurological problems. During the influenza season, there are also higher rates of ear infections or otitis media, as well as severe bacterial lung infections among children. The 2022-2023 influenza season in Canada began on August 28, 2022. The spike in the number of children hospitalized due to influenza in late 2022 is an important example of how serious influenza can be in young children. From roughly the end of October to the end of November 2022, Canada saw a sharp increase in the number of hospitalizations due to influenza among teens and children 16 years of age and younger. The number of hospitalizations was substantially higher than those seen in previous influenza seasons, with the number of hospitalizations coming down to levels seen in prior years only around mid-December 2022. In fact, from the first week of November 2022 up until the end of December 2022, children under four years of age had the highest cumulative rate of hospitalizations in Canada due to influenza. By March 4, 2023 of the 2022-2023 influenza season in Canada, there had been nine deaths due to influenza among teens and children 16 years of age and younger. 3,951 people in Canada had been hospitalized due to influenza during this same time period, with teens and children 16 years of age and younger accounting for 1,549 of these hospitalizations. Children aged 2 to 9 years old made up 55% of these hospitalizations, with children 2 to 4 years old accounting for the most hospitalizations. As we can see from 2022, although influenza may not always be thought of as something serious in young children, in reality, it can be very serious. For this reason, it is recommended that all children 6 months to less than 5 years of age receive the influenza vaccine. 
Unfortunately, there is no specific cure or medicine for influenza. If one develops influenza, the treatment includes rest, drinking plenty of fluids, and medications as needed for fever and pain, such as acetaminophen. Antibiotics are not effective against the influenza virus. Aspirin, or ASA, should never be given to children with influenza. Also, if anyone has influenza, they should avoid contact with seniors, young children, and people with chronic underlying medical conditions who are most at risk for developing influenza-related complications. The best approach is prevention, which can be achieved by getting an influenza vaccine, commonly known as a flu shot. Each year, different strains or types of influenza viruses arrive in Canada. In most cases, we can accurately predict which strains will arrive each season and prepare a vaccination to prevent that specific influenza infection. Usually, the influenza vaccine contains three to four different strains of the virus. Because the virus strains change every influenza season, a different vaccination is needed every year. In other words, last year's vaccine will not protect against this coming season's strain of influenza virus. This is why the vaccine needs to be given every year. The influenza vaccine, commonly known as the flu shot, is usually given in the fall season, sometime between October and December, so people can be protected during the typical influenza season, November to March. It takes up to two weeks for the vaccine to take effect, and the protection lasts for about six months. Children less than nine years of age receiving the influenza vaccine for the first time need two shots at least one month apart. Everyone else needs only one shot. After their first time, children only need one flu shot per year. There are two types of influenza vaccines currently approved for use in Canada for children. Inactivated influenza vaccines, or IIVs, and live attenuated influenza vaccines, or LAIVs. Inactivated influenza vaccines use an inactivated, which means killed, version of the influenza virus. This means you cannot get influenza from the vaccine itself. They are given as an intramuscular injection. Live attenuated influenza vaccines, or LAIV, use a weakened form of the live influenza virus in the vaccine. Because the virus has been weakened, healthy people won't get influenza symptoms from this vaccine either. They are given as a nasal spray. Speak with your healthcare provider to see if it is available in your province or territory. The current national immunization guidelines recommend the influenza vaccine for all children between six months to less than five years of age and older children with chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, heart disorders, cancer, and neurologic or neurodevelopment conditions, all pregnant and breastfeeding persons, and all persons in contact with children less than five years of age, including parents and other caregivers. Also, healthy children of any age living with persons with chronic illness, such as a heart condition, asthma, diabetes, or cancer, and or with elderly persons, should receive an influenza vaccine in order to avoid spreading the influenza virus to them. The effectiveness of an influenza vaccine, which is its ability to prevent influenza illness, can range widely from season to season. In children, it can vary based on a couple of factors. One factor is a child's health. For example, children with immune-compromising conditions may have a weaker immune response to the vaccine. Another factor is how well the influenza vaccines match the strains of influenza circulating in a given influenza season. During years where there is a good match between the influenza vaccines and circulating viruses, it's more likely a child will have good protection from severe influenza illness. In years where there is a mismatch, even if a vaccinated child does develop influenza, it will be much milder than if they had not received the vaccine. Several studies have shown that influenza immunization can be life-saving in children, even in years where there is a mismatch. For example, one study in 2022 showed that children who received the influenza vaccine were 75% less likely to experience severe, life-threatening influenza. Another study, which looked at data from four influenza seasons between 2010 and 2014, showed that receiving the influenza vaccine reduced the risk of death due to influenza by 51% in children with higher-risk chronic health conditions and reduced the risk of death due to influenza in healthy children by 65%. The influenza vaccine is very safe. Most people either have no side effects 
or experience local redness, swelling, or soreness at the site of the injection. Some people may complain of body aches and or fever for a day or two following the injection. Serious side effects are rare. For details on the possible side effects of the influenza vaccine, speak with your healthcare provider or local public health office. Although the influenza vaccine is safe and effective, the following persons should not receive the influenza vaccine. Children less than six months of age, children with an allergy to any of the vaccine components, and children who have had a previous allergic reaction to an influenza vaccine. Children with an egg allergy can still safely receive the influenza vaccine. A safety data has shown that the risk of having an adverse reaction to an egg-based influenza vaccine is very low. Children who should not receive live attenuated influenza vaccines, or LAIV, include those with a weak immune system, children with severe asthma due to increased risk of wheezing after administration, those that have received medical assistance due to wheezing seven days or less before their influenza vaccine appointment, children younger than 24 months due to increased risk of wheezing after receiving LAIV. Your child's healthcare provider can let you know if LAIV is appropriate for your child. All provinces and territories offer the influenza vaccine to everyone. In this way, by preventing community transmission, a universal influenza vaccination approach protects the more susceptible people indirectly. If a large portion of the population, including healthy adults and children, is vaccinated, there will be less infection in the community and consequently less chance of exposure to the virus. This will result in an overall decrease in the number of influenza infections we will see in a given influenza season. Influenza vaccines are strongly recommended by the National Advisory Committee on Immunization for all pregnant persons and can be given any time during pregnancy. Pregnant persons are more likely to experience severe influenza and associated complications. Complications of influenza in pregnancy can include hospitalization and serious complications for newborns. Influenza vaccines have been given to pregnant persons for decades and have a good safety record. There is no evidence that influenza vaccines harm the pregnant parent or fetus. If you are pregnant, getting an influenza vaccine is the best way to protect you and your baby against seasonal influenza. Getting an influenza vaccine decreases the risk of stillbirth and or premature birth due to influenza, decreases the risk that your baby will be small for their gestational age or be of low birth weight due to influenza, lowers your chance of hospitalization due to influenza by an estimated 40%, and protects your newborn from influenza and related complications until they can be immunized against influenza at six months of age. Also, the influenza vaccine can safely be given to persons who are breastfeeding. There is no evidence that receiving an influenza vaccine is unsafe for breastfeeding persons or their babies. As such, if you are breastfeeding, you can safely receive either an inactivated influenza vaccine, which is given as an injection, or a live attenuated influenza vaccine, which is given as a nasal spray. There are several points that are important to remember. First, the influenza vaccine protects only against the influenza virus. Second, it is still possible for a person to contract influenza even after having been vaccinated, but it will be much milder than if they had not received the vaccine. Lastly, the vaccine will not protect your child from getting a cold caused by other viruses. So, if your child gets a cold after having been vaccinated, it does not mean the vaccine did not work. Aside from the influenza vaccine, here are some other steps that parents, schools, and others can take to help prevent the spread of the influenza virus. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Keep your child home if they are sick. Teach your children to cover their mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing. Teach your children to wash their hands, especially before and after meals. Disinfect frequently touched objects such as surfaces, keyboards, doorknobs, and toys. Breastfeeding persons who have influenza can continue to breastfeed. If you are breastfeeding and have influenza, here are some tips on how you can protect your baby. Put on a surgical mask. Wash your hands thoroughly and dry them well with a clean towel or paper towel. Keep your breasts covered until you put your mask on and have washed your hands. Do not remove your surgical mask until you are finished breastfeeding and have put your baby down. 
These precautions should be continued at every feeding for seven days following the first day of your flu symptoms. Let's now summarize. Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is a contagious respiratory illness that can cause mild to severe illness in humans. Children under five years of age are at higher risk for serious influenza infection and hospitalization, and influenza is more severe in children under two years of age and in children with chronic health conditions, such as heart, lung, or neurological problems. We saw how serious influenza can be in young children by looking at how many children were hospitalized due to influenza in late 2022. However, one of the best ways to help protect children against influenza and its serious complications is by getting yourself and them immunized against influenza. You can talk to your healthcare provider or local public health office about getting your child the influenza vaccine.